Hello fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is uh, part 5 I believe of the um, night's tour program that we are creating and we created the grid, we populated the array of moves and now it's time to do the logic so um, let's jump over here to main uh, I'm gonna delete this uh, except that read the key because we will need that at the end and let's start programming the main. Now what do we need? We need a boolean is over. Basically tells us whether the game is over, whether we moved enough. Uh, next we will need a random because we need to generate the moves randomly. This is the uh, brute strength uh, portion of the whole uh, exercise. And um, now Let's get the starting core dnets. So we need to get the starting position. Uh, remember our start position has a, a, will hold two values, zero and one. The first one will be the basically the x and the, the second number will be the y. Not exactly, but the in this case it actually is a good enough representation so our start position of zero that's the index of zero we will assign the random next from zero to row remember we are not hard coding it row has a whatever uh, squares we want in the in the checkerboard or in a chessboard. Uh, last time we changed it from 8 to 4 for example. So uh, we don't want to hard code it, we'll just do the row. And remember the maximum value is the exclusive, meaning it's not included in it, but we start from 0 to 7. And row, if it's 8, uh, then we need from 0 to 7, so that's why row, except let me just change it back to 8 and 8 in the last video I changed it to 4, the rows and columns. And the start position of the index 1, that's the second one, we, it's the same thing. Except uh, this one's gonna be the next uh, 0 through, instead of rows, it's gonna be columns. But it could be rows if it's a square, because obviously it's gonna be 4 by 4, 8 by 8 and so forth. Next one are moves, and the moves we randomly determine the position. Remember, it's the 2D array; it's a, uh, it has coordinates x and y. So, what are the coordinates? Well, it's the start position zero and start position one. That will give us the place on the chessboard where we start. So our moves start position uh, 0 is the first position and start position 1 is the next one and this equals to the e move symbol now this will place the x to it alright so uh, in fact let's test it I should have probably delete it before. Let's just do the populate array and then display the grid. Let's just call those populate array and display grid. And this should place one X somewhere on the board. And it actually didn't. So let me see what it did wrong. And uh, oh, you know what? I have to populate the array array before I uh, assign the start position because we are just populated with the grid symbol at the beginning like no move was made so uh, it has to and then we decide or randomly choose the start position and you can see there's an X here if I run it again it should be somewhere else this is all random right now it's down here so, uh, but you know what, let me make the uh, the window a little bigger. Uh, I'm not 
structure of the fan at least a little bigger and make it 12 by 16 or something there you go that's better you can read it better so we have the X right there so uh, okay so this is working except I'm going to comment this out now so we have our start position and now we can create our loop how long we're we gonna play at the beginning let me just test it with the uh, just one one round one tour let's see if that's gonna work and we're gonna play while it's not over if while it's over is false it will be playing when it's true that it means it's over clearly I think it's clear enough so what we do our is over which is a boolean equals whatever is returned to from make move function and make move if you remember is calling the get move function and it returns true or false uh, and then passes it to is over so if it returns true then while loop exists exits if it returns false we keep playing we call it a make move again to make another move so um, go to let's go to our uh, uh, make move I guess and do that one well make move is pretty much finished but it's calling get move from inside it so let's uh, let's create that function or the functionality so first we need a random uh, generator so we got a random number generator and um, I'm going to create something called uh, bad moves this is gonna be an array I'm sorry this integer array of bad moves it will hold uh, the moves remember there's eight possible moves so if this array has eight uh, bad moves I know that there are no more possible moves so uh, bad moves array will equal to the new integer array oh, what is what is this bad moves equals new integer array and I will initialize it just uh, to eight numbers of minus one so uh, one two three four five six seven and eight and I will replace these as I make the bad moves so basically if any of the uh, value still equals negative one then I did not make all the possible moves. I didn't try to make all the possible moves. So I will just do something like a little comment, capture values of bad moves. All right, so uh, we have that, and uh, now we can basically do while bad move. You know what? Let me create another variable actually here. I'll just call it integer bad move counter rather than calling like the bad moves that length or bad moves that count or something. I will just create a counter directly that will count the bad moves. So our bad move move counter is less than eight. We still can try to move. We, st we still did not use all the possible moves. And over here I forgot equal random equals so we will do the we can create another variable called random move and we will generate the move from the random dot next from 0 to 8 again remember there are eight possible moves the knight can make so uh, pick randomly from possible moves and now we will do the first move the H move will equal to the start position 
of 0, remember that the, the start position has only two numbers, uh, or two indexes, 0 and 1, so this one will hold the 0, and we will assign or plus possible moves x. And which one? Well, the random move. So this is our uh, new starting position that we that we are trying to to do. Well, now we of of course need the uh, other coordinates for the V move because we remember we will have A B C D E F G and so forth uh, as the columns and one two three four. So we know let's say we want uh, B six. That's where we are trying or C eight for example. Whatever random number was generated. So this one will equal the start position by the 1, that's the second uh, index, and possible moves y of the random move. Alright, so um, over here we generate the move, uh, number from 0 to 8, or 0 to 7, and then we try the uh, to pass it into H move and V move. Remember the random move, the indexes uh, uh, for a possible move X and Y correspond to each other. Or z 0 in X corresponds with 0 in Y, uh, 7 in X corresponds with 7 in Y. So that's why we can do it this way. But rather than having one array and uh, have both these indexes in like a, a 2D array, uh, I just have them in two separate ones. Okay, so uh, so what we can do now is uh, determine the actual logic if the move is possible. Is it possible to move? So it's gonna be any statement, not a big big one, but it's, it requires a little logic. So um, I'm gonna do it in the next video. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so stick around and. In next video, we will finally do the if statement that determines whether the move is valid or not. A simple if statement. So, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.